oats. Now, if it's on the social media account, chance I've come across this whole controversy around oats. Some saying that's bad for you, that causes spikes in blood sugar levels, that oats have phytic acid. I'm a nutritionist in training, and let's do a deep dive into whether oats are actually good for you or if they're killing you, backed by science. So the first claim here is that oats cause unhealthy blood sugar spikes. Some people argue that oats, especially the instant variety kinds, can cause a spike in blood sugar levels. However, this is not really true because oats contain a large amount of soluble fiber. And soluble fiber, especially beta-glucan, slows down glucose absorption and slows down digestion, overall reducing the drastic spikes in blood sugar levels. Many studies show that oats, as a part of a balanced diet, actually improve the quality of the diet. And not only that, oats make you feel fuller for longer, which means that you're less likely to crave more foods and also your blood sugar is less likely to spike as much. Claim number two is that oats contribute to weight gain. So lots of people believe that since oats have a high carb content that they're not useful for weight management. But on the contrary, oats are actually very high in fiber and fiber is what keeps you fuller for longer or at least has the feeling of fullness. And so when you feel fuller for longer, you're actually less likely to consume more food. And in that way, oats do aid in weight management. An extra little fun fact about oats is that a study done by the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition actually showed that not only does oats, not only do oats have the effect of improving gut health and gut microbiome, but it also has effect of lowering LDL cholesterol when consumed in a balanced diet. So that's a, just an extra bonus. So the third claim here is that phytic acid in oats blocks nutrient absorption. So phytic acid does block nutrient absorption. However, the thing to remember is that oats contain a small amount. So the amount that they have doesn't really have a significant impact on the absorption of minerals or vitamins such as iron or zinc. And especially when you cook oats, that amount of phytic acid reduces further. And so the impact that it has on human digestion is very, very minimal. So in that sense, oats do not block the absorption of vital minerals and vitamins. Claim number four is that oats aren't a significant source of protein. So that's true. Oats aren't a significant source of protein when compared to things like chicken or eggs. But it is important to remember that oats, when compared to other grains, actually do have quite a decent amount of protein. And also, you can supplement this protein content in oats by adding toppings such as Greek yogurt or nuts or seeds. And so this will make oats or the oat dish into a more well-balanced meal. The Harvard School of Public Health also emphasizes that oats have a good profile of vitamins B and E, which are very important for the body. And so oats should be consumed within a balanced meal. So final thoughts. Are oats bad for you and are they going to kill you? No. Within a balanced diet, they won't. So oats are still your friends. You can tell your friends, family that they can still eat oats. Make sure to share this information because there is a lot of misinformation out there and food is very, very important as it literally sustains you. And so it's super, super crucial that you get the right information out there. Well, let me know in the comments below if you like this video. Do you like oats? Hate oats on the fence? Got other breakfast preferences? So for now, oats are still your friends and they are still good in a balanced diet. Hope you enjoy this video. Wishing you all happy digestive systems. Until the next one.